This is the Husky Switches by Kinetic Labs, a linear switch that has a long pole stem. So how do they sound and feel? Let's find out. What is going on guys, Ox here and welcome back to my channel. We are back with another 4K switch review and sound test. Today we'll be taking a look and listen at the Husky Switches by Kinetic Labs. I am very much excited to try this out and actually I am very late in trying them out. As mentioned, these are a linear switch that has a long pole stem which gives out that better bottom out. So the switches were sent for a review but I wasn't paid to make the video so of course I give you guys my honest and unbiased opinion on the Husky switches. So in today's video it's going to be the usual, a stock versus lube comparison, a sound test comparison between other linear switches and of course a material breakdown. If you want to hear my own thoughts and opinion about the Husky switches, please do stick around at the end of the sound test. And speaking of sound test, let me give you guys a quick disclaimer before we listen. That the sound and experience may vary depending on your keyboard build, meaning to say that it might feel and sound different on your board. We are using the Vega 65 with a polycarbonate plate, a PCB to plate foam, and one case foam. The switches was looped with a Crydox 05 grade 0 and 105 grade 0 on the springs. The keycaps that was used on the sound test is a Domiki set, so with all that out of the way, please do enjoy the sound test for the Husky switches.
So that was the sound test for the Husky switches. Please do let me know on the comments on what you think about them. I would love to have a discussion with you guys so I'll be waiting for your comments. And before we talk about my own thoughts and opinion about the switch, you already know what's next. Let's break down the materials that was used on the switch. As you can see, this is a 5-pin switch. And is using an MX style housing. So we have polycarbonates on the top housing. We also have polycarbonates on the bottom housing. And of course, we have POM for the stem. Lastly, the springs, which has a 63.5 gram. So that was a material breakdown on the Husky switches. If you made it up to this point, I would like to say thank you for staying and don't forget to hit the like button. Again, remember my disclaimer that the sound and experience may vary depending on your keyboard build. So let's now talk about my thoughts and opinion on the Husky switches. Finally, let's now talk about my thoughts on the feel. This is actually my first time trying out a switch that was manufactured by Texi and I must say, the stock was kinda okay. You can still feel a little bit of crunch but not that noticeable. I also barely notice any scratchiness but I wouldn't really say that they are smooth on stock. Lubing them of course made it better. I lube mine lightly with a 205 grade zero and in terms of smoothness, I can say that they are on par with some JWK switch as this uses the typical switch materials like the polycarbonate top, the nylon bottom housing, and of course the palm stems. Now for the 63.5 gram springs, it also feels nice as you know, this is the sweet spot for me in terms of spring weight. It's not that light and it's not that heavy, always in between so you won't expect any typing fatigue when using them but of course this is subjective and would still be based on your preference. Now let's move on to my thoughts on the sound. On stock, it's a bit all over the place for me and I do suggest lubing them. Of course, once lube, it sounded more subtle and it has that deep clacky sound profile. I can say that they sound in between, it's not too loud and it's not too deep or muted for a linear switch. It sounds really decent for a linear switch. Again, it's my first time trying out some switches manufactured by Texi and in terms of sound, I can say that they are alright and just like the feel, it's kinda on par with some JWK switches. Honestly, they are nice for what they are and can be a good linear pickup to some, but if you are looking for other budget alternatives that has a long pole stems, I do suggest to check out the KTT switches. Don't get me wrong, I like the Husky switches as these are nice. So yeah, that is it for the video guys. I hope you find this helpful and if you did enjoy the review, please don't forget to hit the like button and let's try to aim for the usual, the 50 likes, I know we can do it. What's next? Well, I still have more KTT switches coming up and two more Kinetic Lab switches for a review, so please watch out for that. Also, huge shout out to Kinetic Labs for sending over the switches. Again, don't forget to hit the like button, share if you want, and of course, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys on the next Soundtest. Peace.